I want to have a girl talk with you guys, specifically. It's time for lemon zest raspberry cookies, you guys. Oh, these are massive. Whoa. Good morning, friends. I am craving a refresh and a reset. I am craving a hearty spring clean. I just want to reset my environment and I could really use some liveliness of spring at the moment. We are through the heart of winter. We're through it. There's still winter hanging on, but I'd say we're through the heart of it. And spring is right around the corner. March is next week. And I thought, why wait? until next week while I'm feeling inspired and energized at the moment. Let's just have spring clean. If you want some springtime freshness and inspiration, why wait? We get to decide what to do and when to do it. So I thought we could have a girl's day. I thought we could make a day out of this spring refresh. So this entails, yes, a bit of tidying and cleaning. I wanna do some baking. Oh my gosh, you guys, I found these lemon zest sugar cookies with raspberry frosting and it's not vegan but i want to play with the recipe and make it vegan and i thought that that would be fun to make as a sweet treat after all the cleaning and i love having a specific candle for each season and i need a springtime candle i used all of mine last spring so i thought we could run some errands because i need ingredients for the cookies and I need a springtime candle. So first I wanna run the errands, then we'll do a refresh and a reset with some springtime inspo. I wanna put on a cozy movie in the background, light my new candle, fill my house with flowers, do some baking, maybe switch over some clothes. I have some bright, colorful springtime sweaters. You know that in-between space where it's still kinda of chilly, but not winter chilly? Yeah. I have some sweaters that are perfect for that time. And then we'll see what else we get up to. But if this sounds good to you, go ahead, pause. I'm very, very serious about this. Pause this video, take a moment to make yourself a heartwarming cup of tea, grab your coziest of comfy blankets, and let's have a girl's day. We can go on together. All right, I've come to Target because it has both groceries and candles, and it's a place that most people have access to, and I wanted to get a candle that we could all enjoy together. I just love the idea of us having the same candle to light and enjoy spring with. Um, but oh my gosh, you guys, Target is just one of those places where you have to have an iron will to come here and not buy things that you don't need. There's so many things. But I just so happen to have an iron will, and we're just getting a candle and cookie ingredients. Okay, I found some candles and I'm gonna give them the sniff test. This is Wildberry Frosé. Mmm, okay, mm mm. That one, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that one. Mmm, this one is Pink Lady Peony. That could be good. All right, um, let's do Lavender Lemonade. Mm -mm. I really don't like candy smelling candles. I want something fresh. Perhaps Emerald Amazon will be good. No. All right, let's find a different candle section. Okay, you guys, now I have to sit in overwhelm. There's so many good candles. Mmm, vetiver cedar wood. That's more autumnal, delicious. Ooh, jasmine ylang ylang. That's incredible. Patchouli, jasmine, white rose, and ylang ylang. That's like exactly what I'm looking for. This is threshold candle. Um, and it's $10. That's such a good price. Oh, but 
but there's so many to choose from. Ooh, winter mint eucalyptus. That's lovely. Rainwater lily. Mm, these are so good. Ooh, strawberry musk. That's so good. I wish I had a perfume in this scent. Mm, I want to get this one too. It's also $10, which isn't bad at all. Okay, I might get two candles. I'll think about it. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Strawberry musk luxury scented candle. TH. I don't know if that's the brand, but here it is. Fruity and floral. Sparkling notes of spring strawberries complemented by blushing mimosa and woody cedar. Ah, oh, so good. Okay, I'm currently looking for freeze-dried raspberries. I've never purchased those before and I don't know if they're in a regular section or a frozen section. So, let's see if I can find them. If not, I'll ask someone, but I like to wander around aimlessly until I find them. Until I absolutely have to ask someone. Ah, there's a dried fruit section. There are so many freeze-dried fruits. Perfect! Okay, we have strawberry. Save that for summer. Freeze-dried raspberries. Perfect! Yay! I want to have a girl talk with you guys, specifically about finances, because I don't think finances are spoken about enough, especially with women. And I recently read the book, We Should All Be Millionaires by Rachel Rogers, and I found it incredibly helpful and inspiring and empowering. And since we're at Target, and it's really hard not to spend money at Target, I wanted to share with you guys that I've been budgeting this year. Specifically, I've given myself a $100 allowance each week for everything that's not gas or groceries. So, I can't spend more than $100 a week on fun. This includes going out to dinner with friends, or if I go to the movies, or if I want like a cute dress or something, it has to be within that budget. And if I don't spend the $100, like the whole $100 in one week, it rolls over to the next week. So then I have like more savings that I can build up. So like last week, I didn't spend the whole $100. So then, oh, thank you. That was so nice. I dropped my frozen raspberries and someone picked them up for me. I was walking with confidence because I won't lie. I'm really nervous vlogging in Target, but nobody cares. Anyways. If I don't spend the full $100 one week, the amount that I didn't spend rolls over to the next week. So I have $126 to spend this week. It's amazing how incredibly expensive things are though. Like, if I go out to dinner with friends just twice in one week, that's like the bulk of my budget. It's expensive to go out to eat. So this budget has been really helpful in saving money and it's also made me very, very intentional about what I buy. I have to like hold my breath and walk past the clothing section. <laughs> we can't go in there. We'll spend too much money. <laughs> I'm all checked out, but I have more to say for our financial girl talk. So I met with a financial advisor recently, which sounds big and scary, and I was really intimidated going into it, but anybody can meet with a financial advisor, even if you're not super wealthy or anything of the sort like you can meet with a financial advisor for free for an hour most often any financial advisor will offer you an hour advising session for free I guess let me just give you a quick little background about my financial history I have been absolutely broke for most of my adult life I super super struggled upon graduating from college and I couldn't find a full-time job I worked multiple part-time jobs and was just always struggling to pay my bare minimum bills I also have student loans I paid for my college degree with student loans so it's been a bit messy my adult life financially and only recently I've come to a place where I can comfortably afford to pay all my bills and then some and with this money I want to be responsible now that I'm not just 
struggling and suffering, I want to build a secure financial foundation and make smart choices, especially as a business owner. I want to make sure that I'm doing the right things and I want to build a savings. So this led me to seek out financial advice. Anybody is worthy of financial advice. No matter how much money you're making, anyone can benefit from financial advice and that is what advisors do. And it's not as scary as it sounds. And it's actually really easy. So here's what you need to do if you're at all interested in getting some form of financial guidance from someone. Think of the people in your life. Who seems to have it figured out? Who do you know that has some semblance of financial security. They just seem to have their life together. Chances are that that person has a financial advisor. Reach out to that friend or family member and ask if they have a financial advisor. And if so, if they're willing to share that advisor's information, that's what I did. I reached out to friends and family, found someone who had an advisor. She connected me to the advisor or gave me their contact information and I wrote a little email. Here it is. If you're at all interested in reaching out to a financial advisor, it's actually really easy. So that's the email I wrote up and sent to him. He responded very quickly and we had a meeting set up for the very next day and it was over Zoom. I didn't have to go anywhere to meet in person. I got to just speak to him in the comfort of my own home and ask him all the questions I had and he took them in stride. I didn't feel belittled or dumb. He answered all of my questions and I left the meeting feeling really good and motivated. And my biggest takeaway was that I need to have savings, five to six months worth of savings that will cover all my bills and expenses, basically living. Just, I need to have enough money saved up to where if I lost my job, if Landon lost his job, if we just didn't have any source of income for five to six months, we would be okay. So that's been my big goal for this year to get that saved up and budgeting is helping. The $100 a month budget is really helping. So yeah, money is not some big scary thing. We are all capable of making and saving money and living our very best lives. And I will continue to share my financial journey with you guys. Again, I feel like women especially are not empowered to make and save money. And I would love to change that. So that's my financial spiel. Let's go home and have a spring clean and a baking session. The first thing I like to do when cleaning my home is to throw open the windows big and wide and let all the light and fresh air into my home. Whoops. Also for all those concerned, yes, I do turn off the heat while I do this. If it's cold outside, the windows are only open for a couple minutes, but today it's actually 60 degrees. I'm very excited. Now that we have the ambiance set with some fresh air and some spring scents, it's time to start cleaning. And I'm gonna start by dusting everything off, then sweeping and vacuuming. I want to wash the sheets and have those fresh and cleaned, and then just generally tidy everything. Wipe down all the surfaces, just get it nice and refreshingly clean and tidy in here.
it always feels so good to have a clean and tidy space. Now that everything's cleaned and organized, it's time to add the spring touches. And I plan on doing this with dried flowers. I love drying any bouquets that I get and I have quite the collection. So I store my dried flowers under here. And like I said, I love to just dry any bouquets that I get. And I also like to buy flowers that are specifically good for drying, like straw flowers. These dry so nicely, they're over a year old and they still are bright and colorful and I love them. this feels like deja vu because it's exactly what happened at the beginning of the year you guys I'm so happy with how the mantle turned out I just used the dried flowers that I already had and this just looks so beautiful to me I have lots of floral pieces of art on the gallery wall this is the frame that I dedicate to Randy's art and I love this piece that she did I purchased it from her website it's a print, 8 by 10 and I just think it's so beautiful and playful and pink. Then I have this beautiful postcard, which was actually mailed to me by one of you guys. It's actually a letter. So not only is it a piece of art, but there's a handwritten letter on the other side from a lovely viewer. Sunflowers, they're like the happiest flowers ever. <laughs> this is a piece by Monet. Then I've snuck in a few of my own pieces. This is an illustration I did. I painted this with acrylic gouache and it's available for sale on my website. And so is this one. I added this as a spring print to the gallery wall and this is also for sale on my website. And then of course I had to decorate with books. Books are such a wonderful way to decorate. And I have The Secret Garden, All Along You Were Blooming, Love in Other Words, and Garden Spells. I've not read Love in Other Words, but I'm excited to give it a go. And I just feel like springtime is a romantic comedy time of year. And these are some of my favorite spring reads, with the exception of Love in Other Words, because I haven't read it. I absolutely love my home. It is 0% trendy. <laughs> um, sometimes I get insecure over the fact that I'm not very trendy. I worry of becoming obsolete, but my home makes me so happy and I use what I can to make it as cozy as possible and that in and of itself is just incredibly satisfying and it feels so, so good. It's such good self-care to tidy your space and to decorate it with love. Always feels so good. So it's time for lemon zest raspberry cookies, you guys. The recipe I will be following, let's see raspberry lemon sugar cookies buttery lemon cookies with crispy sides and a chewy center topped with tart raspberry buttercream mmm oh, they look so good okay so for the ingredients I'm gonna use vegan butter in place of regular butter and then for one large egg I have an egg replacer by Bob's Red Mill and I also have flax seeds I want to use whatever most people have access to I feel like it's easier to access flax seeds than it is to access like a vegan egg replacer, so I'm gonna go with flax seeds. 
And then again for the raspberry buttercream, I'm gonna use vegan butter and then instead of milk, I'm gonna use oat milk, like a thick creamy oat milk. And I think the results should be the same. <sighs> okay. Such a good smell, like sunshine. So the recipe says to beat all the ingredients together until they form a ball, but <laughs> this is what's happening with mine. It reminds me of shortbread. So I think this means there's not enough liquid and I'm gonna add just a splash of oat milk and see what happens. That's a good consistency. That'll be good. All right. Mm, time to bake them. This frosting is unbelievably delicious. This is gonna be my new favorite recipe. It's so good. Mmm. Few changes I made. The recipe called for a cup and a half of powdered sugar, but I only added one cup. And instead of two to three tablespoons of dried raspberries, freeze dried powdered raspberries, I blended up the raspberries in the blender and a whole bag actually made about like I don't know, five tablespoons worth, five to six. So I just dumped them all in here <laughs> and that made up for the other half cup of sugar that I didn't add because there's lots of sugar in raspberries. I also didn't add the salt that the recipe called for because the vegan butter, it didn't say salted or unsalted, but I didn't want to take any chances and I'm happy with how it's turned out so far. So yeah, I forewent the salt. It's time, it's time, it's time. He did say that the bottoms of the cookies will be golden brown and that's how you know, so let's check. This is no joke. Oh yeah, they need more time. They need more time. I'm going to press into them. There we go. Because they rose a lot. I'm gonna put them back in for two more minutes. The most exciting part. I've worked up quite the appetite with all the spring cleaning. This cookie looks like my dream cookie. I, I just love it. I love it already. Here we go. favorite thing I've ever made. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh my
my goodness, you guys, it's perfect. The cookie itself isn't that sweet. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like a shortbread. It's like a cookie shortbread hybrid. So it's not so sweet, and the lemon comes through really nicely. But then the frosting is so tart with all the raspberry. It's just such a good combination. Mmm. Mmm. Are you alright? Ruth's salivating. He would love to try some cooking. I'll give him a piece, just a little piece. Hello, Monsieur Roo. Where you sit? Good boy. There you go. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> hmm? Now it's time for the cozy part of the night of our girls' day. I have put on my Cozy A Wondrous You sweatshirt, and I went ahead and brought the pink blanket to the couch. I have a feeling I'll be bringing it from room to room. But I've sat cozy comfy on the couch, and I said earlier I wanted to watch a Meg Ryan movie, but while I was cleaning, I remembered my friend, Catherine, who is also helping me with my shop and my Patreon orders. She packages every single order and helps me mail it out, which has been so, so, so incredible. She was telling me about a movie from the 90s called Fairy Tale: A True Story. I watched the trailer and my inner child geeked out. It is totally, or at least it seems like the type of movie that I would have loved growing up. And I've been reading the um, A Court of Thorns and Roses series and also Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I read the second book in that series. So I've been reading a lot of books about fae and fairy, fae slash fairies, and I've been really into it. So I thought it would be fun to watch Fairy Tale, A True Story. And I've also been saving this movie for spring slash summertime. And yeah, I wanna watch it. It's available to rent or buy on Amazon Prime. It seems like it's not really on any other streaming platform, but to rent it is $3.99. To buy it is $4.99, so it's just $1 more expensive to buy it, which I think is a deal, like $5 and you own it. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it and hope that I really like it because it'll be mine. it is the next morning and I'm sat here editing this video and I realized that I never said goodnight or goodbye or see you soon. I fell in love with the movie and then fell asleep so I did just want to come on and say thank you so much for spending this time with me. Thank you for being here. I love you and I will see you again soon. <laughs>